On 18th July 1887, a Chinese carpenter hurled an axe at Singapore's first protector of the Chinese, William Pickering. Although the assassination attempt failed, the message was loud and clear. The colonial government should keep their noses out of Chinese affairs. In the early 1800s through to the 1900s, secret societies multiplied in Singapore. For the early Chinese immigrants, secret societies offered kinship and support for employment and housing. Initially, the colonial government saw secret societies as governing entities for the Chinese community. However, over the years, both parties came to disagree on many matters. The language and cultural divide did not help. It took until 1872 for real communication to begin. Enter William Pickering. Pickering arrived in Singapore in 1872 as the first British official who could read and write Mandarin. He was appointed Singapore's first protector of the Chinese. He was tasked with regulating secret societies as well as dealing with labour issues and prostitution. To many within the Chinese community, Pickering and the Protectorate were an alternative authority to the secret societies. For example, he ensured newly arrived coolies were given fair contracts and tried to find jobs for women forced into prostitution. When secret societies came into conflict with one another, he acted as the middleman. He kept records of each society and liaised with the head of each organization directly. He hoped that the protectorate would be seen as a fair tribunal for disgruntled secret societies. However, Pickering's attempt to offer an alternative pillar of support for the Chinese community was also seen as a threat to secret societies, who were deeply involved in the coolie trade, gambling and prostitution. Things came to a head on that fateful day in 1887. Pickering never recovered from his brush with death. Within a year, he retired from his post. However, the groundwork he laid in his years of service was key to establishing an orderly city.